Okay, back to Ann Courier's piece. I, um, sorry, my camera froze up, so I'm, this is gonna be part two. So this is a very um, simple form. It doesn't, it's not, even though it's very complicated geometrically and when I spin it around, some details that make it easier to make a mold from. I mean, and I think number one, it's been designed to be slipcast from the moment that, of its inception. And so it, it is essentially a little bit rectangularly focused. So you have a round curve at the top and uh, another round curve at this top. So, you know, so I'm looking here and here, um, which means that, so a round curve is really easy to make a um, dividing line between multiple parts of a mold. So I imagine this piece had uh, uh, two pieces of plaster, one on this side, one on this side, and the point at which they divided was right at the top of this curve here and at the top of the curve here. No foot on the bottom, it's really just flat, so that makes it very easy. You don't have to think about a, an additional part of your mold just to have the definition of a foot. So the piece was made as a positive out of who knows what, and then was cast to have, to come apart like this. One side of plaster here, one side of plaster here. This is open. So you just pour into the internal cavity, let the walls set until um, it's as thick as you want it, and then pour out the excess. And then let it set up a little while, take the molds apart, clean it up, and you have your casting. Pretty simple. Now, this is still a two-part mold, though, and so I want to also talk about the lovely advantages of a one-part mold. So... Um, if you're new to ceramics, you're um, fine just kind of the details of making a positive and making a mold a little bit overwhelming right now. I highly encourage you to design a positive that can be turned into a one part mold for slip casting. Um, there's nothing wrong with this. It's great. It's simple. Um, so here I have a piece, it's actually from my series called Do Your Own Dishes, which you can check out on my website if you'd like. This is one piece, of one cup out of, I don't know, 120 that I cast. They are all based um, on, or molds were made just from buying some solo cups in a grocery store and making molds of them. The idea of it is that if we had ceramic pieces that we took care of, instead of having recyclable or throw away, you know, one single use pieces at parties, then, um, then you would have a lot more waste and it'd be much better for the environment. So the piece is called to Do Your Own Dishes and in the installation, you could drink out of any cup in the installation, but you had to wash it and put it back. Um, so yeah, solo cups, designed for really easy production. So making a mold of one is also really easy. Everything, there's no undercuts. The foot is just really ever so slight. All these indentations down here must have something to do with um, making it easier to cast in plastic. Um, flares out nicely. It has a nice little flare at the top, which I really liked. But, you know, I just made a single mold. So just, it was flat poured plaster over it, with walls, of course, and then flipped it over, pulled the plastic cup out, and all of a sudden I have a one-part mold for easy production. Um, yeah, so I'm not saying you should cast a solo cup. I want you to do something that's more unique and um, specific to your profile person, but um, I want you to think about some of the design features of this that make it a lot easier to slip cast than some of these other bowls over here that I, I talked about in part one of this video. Okay, that's it, thank you.